types of Christians that when they tell you that um, Satan isn't inside of you, it's just Christ is inside of a Christian, not Satan. Satan can't possibly um, get through to your conscience using other people mainly and or well yeah media is other people so let me get this straight your vessel right that has a brain in it that thinks everybody thinks don't you well some people don't they don't think logically but they do think they they matter of fact the people that think a lot they think too much they don't have any logic because they're thinking too much so there's a vessel you got thoughts in your head you display uh, like anger you display jealousy hatred envious um, all those negative feelings that you display that comes from Satan that's that's the you know that my dad he told me that Satan's biggest trick is to um, make you believe that he just doesn't exist that's why the I mean it's purpose the, the, the name of the, the Christian name has been uh, tampered with over a long period of time so they've been discredited but then again I don't know is that I mean are you a Christian are you a Christian what's the difference between a Christian and um, a Protestant I don't know what's what I know somebody knows the differences between all religions but what truly is the difference if you claim to be a Christian and you also claim that there's no way that Satan can possibly um, enter into your vessel because you're sealed you're sealed with Christ and Satan just doesn't like exist anymore you know because Satan he, he can't he can't penetrate all right all right all right that's fine that, that's fine you, okay all right all right when somebody cuts in front of you because this is what they do a lot when somebody cuts in front of you and you're in a hurry and you're late for whatever the store's gonna close or something and that just irritates the piss out of you and don't act like it never happened so when that irritates the piss out of you, can you imagine Christ being behind the wheel and flipping out because somebody cut in front of him? Because I can't. I can imagine him sitting there and saying, yeah, yeah. So if you flipped out when that person cut in front of you, and that's just a small example. I can come up with like a, a better one, I'm sure, but just off the top of my head, that's the first thing I thought of. Just one example. If that's the case and you got extremely pissed off because you lack patience, well then, aren't you allowing uh, Satan to enter into your vessel and take control of your flesh? Because now you're heated. Your 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 temperature is rising. Your your sugar level goes up. If you have diabetes, it's it's bad for people because it goes up. And they get, they get upset over nothing. I could have swore that that's like allowing Satan to take over. At that moment, just that moment. I'm not saying for your entire freaking life, now all of a sudden you're possessed forever by Satan. No. That moment happened. You allow him to take over. That's it. When you do the exact opposite, and you, you do what Christ would do, and you... You let them go, you're allowing <clears throat> Christ to take over your vessel at that moment. Then when you're done with the moment, 
get back into the moment where you're just living your life thinking just straight forward, not behind you, not too far in front of you, not left or right, just focused forward. And then when another incident happens and, um, well, let's see what, what pisses you off. Let's think of that. What pisses you off the most? So think of whatever it is that, 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 that happens to you. And then imagine yourself allowing it to not piss you off when you know it's going to, especially when you can like basically say ahead of time, oh man, I know that's going to happen. That's and the last time it pissed you off, right? This time around, you know it's going to happen. So why would you allow it to piss you off again and be defeated? Even, again, every time you fail and you get pissed off and you allow Satan to take over, it's like Satan's trying to relax. Here you go, calling on his name. He's like, all right, fine. I'm getting your freaking best here. Fucking asshole, get out of my way. And then it's like, are you done? Can you? All right, here. And then it's like, Satan! Oh my God, what, man? So that's where the differences are with you having, um, allowing the emotion to take over. Satan and Christ, it's their emotions. Their emotions that you feel. Do you feel love? Well, then you're feeling Christ. Do you feel a anger, hatred? Then you're feeling Satan. You're feeling Lucifer. But the one thing that Lucifer and Sa and Christ, Satan, everybody has in common, except for the ones that we all don't like, is a freaking liar. Even Lucifer himself despises liars. Because when you're speaking something out of your mouth and you don't believe what you're saying, you are a liar. You're a flat out liar. If you don't believe what you're saying, but you're saying it anyway, why are you saying it? Can you, can you say that, that, that it's faith? Maybe you can say it's faith. The reason why you say things out of your mouth, but you don't truly believe it. But I think that <clears throat> I think that's faith in the real way of faith is you're you're believing what you're saying. Okay? So you can't mistake that for faith. I'm sorry. There's no way you can mistake that for faith. If you truly believe what you're saying, then guess what happens? Uh Nine times out of ten, it comes true. If you truly believe what you're saying, it's going to manifest in your life. If you're wrong about what you believe at that moment, you'll be corrected. But nine times out of ten, you shouldn't be wrong. So these emotions that people allow them to take over their vessels. Uh, I'm not saying these are evil people. I'm just saying you're weak-minded and very judgmental. And you don't understand that you've been brainwashed your entire life and to believe in something that's not real. These emotions that take control of you, when you say, like, oh man, I just I couldn't help myself. I just couldn't help myself. Hey, put that Twinkie down. Well, I, uh, I just I couldn't help myself. It was just a bite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. It was just a bite, Eve. Just a bite. Just a bite. I, just take a bite. Just Look, it's just a bite. When you fast for three days and Satan's trying to tell you to just take a bite, you failed your fast. Just flat out, just like that, you failed it. The whole point of fasting is to stop the bad habit and create a new pattern. You cannot possibly do it without fasting. It's like literally impossible. But once you... Because fasting is the hardest thing to do at first. Then once you get, get a grasp of it, it's the greatest thing you've ever come across. It's so simple. And you just, you want everybody to experience. So I want everybody to experience. 
if you say to yourself, and you're a Christian, I don't have Satan inside of me. No way. Even though my freaking flesh is controlled by Satan. But, no, not at all. Not at all, no. We don't live inside of Satan's freaking flesh, do we? We're living in it because the flesh is tempted with everything and it's always needing something. It's always craving something. It's always hungry. It's always thirsty. It doesn't stop screaming. So if you say you don't have Satan in your in your freaking flesh, then take that take that habit that you've had and that just you know whatever the habit is, whatever it is. And I'm only saying this to the people that don't know that Lucifer is there present along with Christ in your same body, in your mind, it's up to you to think of what it is. And it, the ones that already know, um, I'm, you already get it, but the ones that don't, and then the ones that, I mean, there's so many different categories of people that are watching and in the world that aren't watching. Try not to, um, try not to eat, right? Because that's the, I would have to say that's between that and smoking is the two toughest things to do, to do away with because it's a, it's a, you're used, used to it. Food, obviously you need it. You need it to, to live, but you don't need that much. And you only realize that when you start fasting and then you start shedding the fat and then um, you start seeing results and then you start feeling a lot better. And, and then when you do that, it's testimony that it works. It's true. It happened. It's working. This is the way it is. If you if you don't want to try it, then you're missing out. That's all I can tell you is you're missing out on life. Because you might think you got it all under control with your spirituality and your, your name. That you know, I'm a Christian. I'm good to go. I'm sealed. No, you're not. You're not sealed at all. If you think that way, you're, you're, you're doomed. You're doomed to die in your sin because you'll live all throughout your life. But you're going to die in your sin because when you die in your sin, literally, that's when you'll finally realize what the meaning of life was. But if you can die in Christ now... And you don't have to die in sin because a second death has no power over you. If you die in Christ now, and then you also understand that that's pretty much like everything that he did was fast and prayer. Praying. Fasting and praying. Mainly, as he's fasting, he's getting the clear understanding of who his creator is. And and how it's like, it's like Michael and Lucifer disputed over the body of Moses type ordeal. You... you you know who's up there, and then you know who's down here, and then you know that you're the vessel that's supposed to control what's going on in your in your mind. So for the ones that think that you don't have Satan in your vessel, right, do a three-day fast and come back to me afterwards and tell me if you didn't hear him screaming in your, in your spirit, just a bite, just a bite. Just take one bite. Come on, seriously, just one bite. It's not even. Look, you're still cutting down, right? Just take a bite, Eve. Come on, just take a bite. And um, and then if you're true to yourself, which you won't be, but if you were, some people do change after that. I'm hoping people would change after they do a three day fast. The ones that, if you were up for a challenge, let's do that. Let's do a challenge. This is a three-day fast challenge to the big, fat, hypocrite Christians. Take the food away from your mouth for three days, all right? If you think Satan doesn't live in your vessel, and if you don't think that Christ lives in your vessel, if you don't think that, then go ahead and do that. Take the challenge for three days. Come on. The three days is going to go by anyway. What is, what happened last week? Um, so, uh, who knows? It, but it went by, right? Like that, didn't it? So why not challenge yourself for the, for the next three days? Don't say you'll do it tomorrow. Don't. Right now. Just right now. Look. 2.06 um, Saturday. 
to us, et cetera. See, it's going to be hard because for people to do it now, it's like, oh, I got Labor Day. We got barbecues. Look, you can either do it now or you can do it after or get one day in. Today is my barbecue day. I ate yesterday for the first time and then um, after the five days, the four full. And then today I'm just taking it easy, but I'm going to have a barbecue and enjoy it. And, um, and then, well, after, uh, after the barbecue, it would be easier for sure. Not that, no, well, the first day is the hardest anyway, but I'm just saying it would be easier to do it like throughout the week. But then I don't know, you know, when I have work, it's harder. Therefore, I like to fast going to work because it's harder. It's easier on the weekends because I don't have to wake up early, so I'm not tempted by food because I'm sleeping still. I like to get up early and fast during the work week because it's more hours in the day that I have to suffer. It's more hours in the day that I learn how Satan is trying to talk to me, and you just, you know now, because you got Christ talking to you too. Their voices seem to be more clear. It's not that they're louder, they're just clear when you don't shove the poison in your body. So many people have said that you can't fast, you can't do it with diabetes, you can't do it, you need to eat, you're going to die. And it's not true. Oh man, that, the from Alaska account, um, I don't know your first name, but that, that video you sent on my last video, I pinned it. It's very good because the guy is talking about, you know, the common sense of life and what you put in your body and how the more food you put in, the more you're feeding the parasites. And then they poop in you and then you're pooping them out. And then the, the less you eat, well, when you, when you, when, well, it's like you're constantly being eaten alive. That's what I'm trying to tell you. When you don't eat, how do you lose weight? Um, don't like, don't they continue to eat you? And then they're pooping. Like if they're eating fat, they're gonna poop it. They're eating food, they're gonna poop. They're pooping, pooping, pooping. And and then so, but the best thing that I see, I don't know this answer though. What happens when you finally get down to tip top shape, and there's no more like fat on your body because the parasites ate it all away? So when you stop eating. The parasites are going to eat the fat for you. I believe that's the case. It makes sense to me. I'm not sure, but I know that they eat the food that you put in your system. So if you're not putting food in and you're losing weight, the miracle to me was how the frick do you lose weight? Like, how do you just, three days later, you're like 10 pounds lighter. Like, how did that happen? Well, when you fast for three days with the water fast, right? And then, um, three, four, whatever it is. The longer you fast, the better, because I think, you know, I think this happened last time, but it's kind of gross, but look, it is what it is. When you go to the bathroom after that time, you're like crapping out stuff that you didn't even know you could have possibly, if it didn't even make sense. Like, it's like a river flowing of like, you know? So for the ones that did it, you know what I'm talking about. And um, isn't that because the parasites are eating your insides and you're shitting them out just some food for thought <laughs> i mean if you want that kind of food to think about at this time when i just said it obviously that doesn't it's not a, a literal thing food for thought it's like food like the, the word like it's the word you want you want to chew, chew on this if you if you want to listen to this some food for thought So go ahead, hypocrite Christians. Take me up on the challenge. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's the cop out. I should not. Should I? Oh, man. Should I say this? Because I know exactly what's going to be typed in. All right? I know exactly what's going to be typed in. I'm not saying it. Nope, I'll say it afterwards. For the ones that know me, you know I'll tell you the truth. I'm not going to say it right now. But the ones that have... The ones that will not take my offer to do a three-day fast and give us progress on the fast. So we know, you know what I mean? So we know where you're at. Don't Because how are we going to believe what you're saying? You got to give us update. 
You know, it's got to be an update. I'm only talking to the hypocrites here, not not to the. Let's see if there's about 500 people that watch. I'm not talking to the 450 because uh, I have a feeling the 450 the number has been like there's another there's another meaning that goes deeper um, because everything that was is not now. So the things that were. Things that were are not. And the things that are now were supposed to be from the beginning. But from the beginning, people act like it wasn't supposed to be this way. This is exactly the way life was supposed to turn out. Yes, we were supposed to procreate. Yes, it was supposed to be 7 point something billion people on earth at this time. Yes, there's supposed to be people that don't believe in the Christ teachings. And they don't believe that Lucifer and Christ are... Are making amends in the end and it's because they understand each other now the hypocrites don't they're the like seven billion people no, i can't say seven billion seven billion people don't really know what's going on i think the 500 million do 700 billion have to get full but the amount of let's just say the amount of hypocrites on my channel i would say out of 500 there would be about 50 there would be about 50 of you. And, um, and the 450, well, I'm not calling you false prophets because uh, I'm just saying it's just a number. I mean, what does it mean? The 45, take the zero away, it's 450. Um, but see, the, the hypocrite Christians, they're going to take the 450 and then they're going um, to use it to their benefit. Because for some reason, they'll all act like they are the Elijah type. And then the 450 false prophets, is it's us. You know, that's, that's why I'm saying the 450 that understand the way I'm telling you is they take the 450, those 50 uh, Pharisees, and say that we're the ones that are blind. But... The ones from the underground, you guys have known the truth for a long time. I'm just starting to wake up to it more and more every single day, consistently towards it. And I feel sorry for the ones... No, I don't. Not at all. Sorry, God. I mean, no. Wait, I'm not sorry either. I'm going to stop apologizing for who I am. I don't feel sorry for you guys at all. Matter of fact, I'm envious. I am. I'm envious of Stephen James Deshaun because he gets to look at the continents of their faces when uh, next Friday comes around, right? I think the bombing should should be should be around. I think it's gonna be. Ah, it's like like the sixth of. September in Philly somewhere the banks maybe I think it's time to collapse it's time it's time that weekend is it is time 9/11's there it you know you got that 40 day period until October 21st where the end of the world's supposed to be the end of the world is coming it is it's the end of their world it's the end of their world it's the beginning of the new world that God ordered not that the new world ordered, but without Stephen James over there, you know, I don't know who would who would be the one in charge of doing it. So, you know, that's the credit I got to give him. Is without him, he, uh, you know, because because a lot of people think he's still that guy, right? There's people that think that he's that guy, but he's not that guy. But only the ones that are his true colleagues know that he is that guy. The other ones still think he's that guy. And, um, I understand that he's he's that guy over there. He's not this guy that you thought he was. He used to be this guy, but he's that guy over there. You can't see. He's not going to tell you. If you can't figure it out, that's on you. But without, without that guy being grounded where he is 
and his closest, closest colleagues. It, Steve, Robin, whatever. He's nobody. And he's, he's, I, I, you know, I can tell, I can tell. I'm, I'm dumb. I know. I can, for real. Yeah. Yeah. I, I allow Satan to take over my vessel all the time and feed me with the, that delusion of, uh, he doesn't exist. He can't possibly penetrate your, uh, your, your mind whatsoever. Right. So I will not tell you what the excuse is to the hypocrite Christians that will not take on this challenge of uh, three-day fast and give us an update as to uh, the progress of it. You know, that's what I did. I gave the progress report because a lot of um, speculation has been like... Um, that it's it's a negative thing, but I don't know. Would you rather the parasites continue to to eat your food that you're putting in your stomach, or eat the fat that you don't need on your body, whatsoever? But it's a mindset. You have to be willing to do it. It you know you got to make up your mind and then stick with it. Do it. Do what my mom did. I mean. T- 72 years old, fast for the first time in her life for four days straight on a water fast with type 2 diabetes and wasn't hungry the entire time. Oh, and pretty much stopped the, the coughing, clearing the throat. At least it minimized. I'm sure once you start eating again, you'll do it because I started doing it today. I did it like seven minutes in on this video. But you... You learn from the first time. Wow. Wow. What the hell was I thinking? And why didn't I decide to do this before? Why? What is wrong with me? And then you'll understand what was wrong with you. You were allowing Satan to control your vessel. And you were in denial, acting as if he wasn't. Why do you think people get so upset when you when you pierce them with truth and slay them with the word of God? They get up on that altar and they start cutting themselves and slicing themselves and thumbing down your videos because they hop in with all five of their counts and they they make sure they give you at least five thumbs down right off the bat you know i can always tell a dirty fish when i catch one i can always tell i got you hooked and you are not leaving until you get cleaned up there buddy all right so keep flip-flopping around thinking that you're good in the water but you're not take the challenge people try it see what i'm saying my mom did it she's still alive she didn't die matter of fact she didn't take her diabetes pills for those three days because she didn't need to because her blood sugar level was was perfect just because she didn't eat for four days yeah um what is it is she just the only one like that fine if you if you say that my mom is the if i give bad advice to somebody and they die well, my mom did it, and um, and she'll testify to it. I have video to prove it. You know, it happened. There's no excuse. Do it. Just do it. Try it. Just make up your mind. I'm telling you, it feels good when you can deny. It. Yeah, at first it's kind of tough because you're so you're so you're going through withdrawal of food. What do you expect? But you got to go through that first. Once you finally get through the withdrawal of food, then once you finally start doing it, and you're not waiting to go to sleep. Oh, man, I can't wait to go to sleep because you know, tomorrow's another day, and I got one more day after that. Now you're cheating your life then. But I had to go through it too. You might have to still go through it, but once you get to phases, look, it's like a it's like a seven step process. You got to do it once at least one day to learn it. Then you got to do it three days, and then, then you got to do a three day water fast, and then you got to do it seven days, and you got to do a seven day water fast, and then then you finally get it to the part where you enjoy fasting. As soon as you wake up, you want to be tempted. You're going up the chicken, and you're like, ah, "How's that, Satan? Huh? You like that? Yeah. You're not ruling my body, are you? Because then that's now that's now Christ taking over, mocking Satan, like." <laughs> Mmm, wouldn't you love for me to eat that one, Satan? Oh, I bet you... Oh, Art, what? Huh? Are you upset? Are you getting mad? And there's nothing you can do about it? Good! That's you getting back at him for all the time that he's controlled your body, mind, and soul. 
Yeah, Geb, keep believing Satan doesn't exist. Right, right, we know. He's, he can't possibly get into your head. <laughs> not at all. Nah, not at all. What's the excuse going to be, hypocrite?